Good morning everyone, or rather good afternoon. This afternoon I'm gonna be installing new plant supports for my climbing plants. Between last fall and this spring I added three new climbers to my container garden and these climbers are now waking up from their winter dormancy, they are actively growing, so I need to provide them with some sort of plant support. So uh, in this video I'm gonna be unboxing and installing those new plant supports, so I thought I would share that with you. And also I want to show you what climbers I have in my balcony garden, because I don't think I ever dedicated a video to that, to my climbing plants. So I'm, I want to show you a little bit of that in today's video to show you what climbers I grow, what plant supports I use for them, and then we are going to open and install those new ones. So let's go. All right, so let's start with the back of the balcony. I'm going to stop right here to show you this absolutely massive climber, Clematis Montana Maylene. Uh, it's a spring flowering clematis that's about to bloom and when it blooms it puts on such a beautiful flower show. So to train this massive clematis up the wall, I used this metal grid, this metal trellis that I placed inside the pot and then I wanted the clematis to go above the windows over there and over here. So in order to do it I used adhesive plant hooks. Here they are, plastic plant hooks. This is such a handy solution because not only they are pretty much invisible, they adhere pretty well because my balcony is uncovered so they are exposed to all kinds of weather conditions, rain, strong winds and snow and stuff like that and they adhere pretty well without damaging the surface. So I think that's such a handy solution that I absolutely love. So that's that. So for now it is the only climber in this corner, but I'm thinking about, about adding another one in here. Um, ideally something that would be small enough to just climb on top of my wooden ladder and then maybe go a little bit above that privacy screen. Uh, but this area is in full shade, no sunlight at all, zero direct sunlight, full shade. Uh, so the options are very limited obviously, but I have a couple of ideas on my mind, so once I make a final decision, I'm gonna share that with you. So most of my climbers are in this part of the balcony, starting with this little grouping on the floor here. Here we have Hedera helix, so ivy, glacier. I absolutely love these beautiful small variegated leaves and it's growing on top of cone-shaped trellis or an obelisk if you will. And next to it is my new addition, Passiflora aeapopeia and it's waking up from its winter dormancy but it's growing really slowly but nonetheless i still need to provide it with some new trellis new obelisk uh, that will kind of match the vibe of my balcony as we turn around yet another new addition to my balcony garden clematis jackmania it's such a beautiful clematis late summer flowering clematis with large purple flowers and this one desperately needs a new support it grows so rapidly especially compared to that passiflora so in this messy little corner over here uh, maybe let's start with the back there is ivy gold heart yet another ivy beautiful variegated one but this one has larger leaves and it has yellow variegation and if you look close the stems are kind of purplish or reddish especially when it gets a little bit more sunlight it has beautiful reddish color and last but not least my new climbing rose this is an experiment because obviously roses need full sun exposure my balcony is shady but this one rose mary delany can support lower light situations uh, it still needs about four or five hours of sunlight but uh, i'm gonna place it in a spot that does receive four hours of morning sunlight and i will hope for the best all right so uh, first i'm gonna unwrap this metal obelisk and place it in the pot where it belongs and then I have something else I need to construct so let's start with the simple thing first all right just gotta be careful not to break this plant okay all right, I'm gonna keep those. These are actually pretty handy, especially when you have some younger plants or when you need to provide support for any other plant. I like to keep all of those bamboo trellises and bamboo uh, sticks. All right, 
you know what i was worried it might be too tall because it's 150 centimeters and now that i placed it inside the pot it's not tall at all it's actually quite perfect i really really like it and i can't wait for this plant to start growing and uh, you know completely covering this this obelisk with beautiful pink flowers I just need to attach it a little bit because it's not very secure right now all right so i'm gonna use this very soft and flexible plant wire to attach this plant a little bit to, to its support at the beginning moving on uh, at the moment, as I showed you just uh, a moment ago, I have this Clematis jackmanii on this side of the bench and on the other side of the bench there is this beautiful grouping of tulips. Uh, so my original idea was to have this Clematis jackmanii climb up the wall, a little bit like the Montana that I have back there, and on the other side to place that new climbing rose and have that climbing rose climb up the wall as well and for these two plants to meet on the wall and kind of mix together and create a sort of a flat arch above the bench. But then my husband suggested, why don't we buy an actual arch? Do you think we can fit it? And I thought, well, we can always give it a try. So here it is. Sorry, I said I have a very windy terrace, right? So I bought an arch and now I just need to put it together and see how that looks and if I like it or not. So let's do it. Okay, a quick pause. So I was following the instructions up until now and it was getting kind of tall. I know that with this um, arch, you can either make it like tall and more rounded shape, or you can make it shorter, wider and more of a square shape. But I think I kind of created my own shape here because I removed one of those uh, straight pieces because yeah, it was just getting a little bit too tall. So I think I'll keep it at this height. This is high enough, this is tall enough for my balcony. I think anything taller than that will look kind of unproportional. So I think for now I'm just gonna stay with this height. All right, so the arch is done. This is how it looks. And as you can see, I think that's, that's actually perfect height. Anything taller than this would look ridiculous. Uh, so the only thing is it's not very stable at the moment, obviously, because I cannot secure it in the ground like you normally would in the garden. Uh, so I kind of need to rearrange around it now. And I think I'm gonna move this clematis on the other side and bring the rose in here. Because if the rose is here, it's gonna have more sunlight. and rose will need more sunlight than clematis so that's what i'm gonna do right now all right you guys i think i'm done for today it's getting late um so i think i will leave it like this for now i brought my galvanized buckets in here so that i can enjoy those tulips from from this view uh, the rose is now here. It's a little bit crowded by the tulips at the moment. And then on the other side we have clematis and just a grouping of random plants. And this is how it looks for now from this perspective. All right, and what I did to secure this arch a little bit more, as, as I said, the, the terrace is really windy, so is there, there's a risk of it falling over. So I placed the legs of this trellis inside the pot and obviously the trellis is wider than the pot but I managed to squeeze it in and for now it holds pretty well. 
All right, so I absolutely love how it turned out. Um, I'm gonna try to find some time tomorrow to rearrange these spots maybe a little bit better because uh, now it's kind of all messy. But I really love how it turned out and I think that once this climbing rose grows a little bit bigger and the clematis starts to bloom, I think this will look really, really sweet. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be it for today's video. Hope that you guys uh, enjoyed joining me for this balcony gardening day and installing some new um, plant supports for my climbing plants. Uh, thanks so much for joining and we will see each other in the next one.